YouTube, what's up everybody? Doomwake here, and we are back with another Master Duel video on the channel. Before we continue, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and please be sure to let me know what you thought about the video in the comments. So I, uh, I noticed the video that we did yesterday didn't do so well. I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Now, for those of you who are watching this that are maybe used to the magic content, don't worry. We're going to go back to magic at some point. The next cup, the next, maybe, maybe it'll take a week. Maybe it'll take a week and a half. Um, maybe even I'll do a different non-modern video in the meantime. Um, but I just wanted to kind of showcase to you guys this new platform because I've been having so much fun. And I know that it's kind of, there's a bit of a barrier. I mean, obviously, if you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, then, you know, you might not really understand some of the some of the mechanics and concepts of it and i understand that um but trust me on this this game is so much fun it's you can make it completely free to play um even if you run out of gems on the first account you can just make another account and just keep going so and there's just infinite ways to obtain free gems when you make a new account you can make literally any deck for free and i've been having so much fun there's just so much so many different archetypes and things to consider because there's so many cards that are legal that aren't legal in paper in terms of like if people are coming from paper Yu-Gi-Oh and all that stuff and the, the the ban list or the lack thereof is just wow that's like a wild west out here and today we're going to be showcasing you one of the combo decks one of the more fringe decks uh, I know we had hinted about memes on the on the video last time so this is one of those meme style decks now what is this deck doing first and foremost you can see there's no monsters. Where the heck are they? Well, we have some in our extra deck. Oh, I, honestly, I just picked 15 random cards to put into the extra deck. It doesn't matter. I just don't want people to know that I'm playing a combo deck. Like, obviously, if your opponent sees that you don't have an extra deck, they're going to be like, well, what the hell is going on here? So, just pick 15 random cards. doesn't matter. But we are a spell-based combo deck, and the card that we are building around is Reversal Quiz. So, this is a card that says you send all cards in your hand. Basically, you... you with, with spell cards, you just activate it. You don't have to, there's no like restrictions or anything. Um, but you essentially just activate this. You send all cards in your hand and on your side of the field to the graveyard. So you take your hand and your board and you just throw it in the trash. And then you call the type of card on top of your deck. Well, you notice we're only playing with spells. So we're always going to call the card right. If you call it right, exchange your life total with your opponent. Now, why is that powerful? We have a lot of ways to deal ourselves damage first and foremost we have chicken game which is another card that's banned in the tcg for probably for good reason this is a powerful effect uh it's a field spell which means you can you can only have one field spell and play at a time but you can play multiples in the same turn so you essentially just play it basically you pay a thousand life draw a card so you're lowering your own life total if you're if you're a magic player similar to death shadow to sort of gain an advantage in this case it's just draw cards so we have that which is pay a thousand draw a card we have pseudo space which is essentially the same thing as chicken game because it's a field spell now what happens is when you play if you have chicken game and you play a pseudo space the chicken game goes to the graveyard which means you can use pseudo space's ability to banish the field spell chicken game and this becomes essentially a copy of it so you can pay a thousand keep going so pay a thousand draw a card pay a thousand draw a card we have here um which when this card is activated both players lose a thousand they draw they both draw cards so pay a thousand draw a card this is upstart goblin but you give your opponent a thousand life draw card you don't really care about giving them life you just want to lower your life total as much as possible but it's you can play three copies it cycles it's it's a free draw card you might as well play it uh we have a couple of tune cards here which don't necessarily draw a card this is you play and you add a tune card from your deck to your hand now what's a tune card well anything that has tune in the name which means you can play it search for another one play it search for another one so you've essentially thinned your deck and made your deck three cards smaller that's why we're playing those um, then we also have uh, the last copy can go and get Tune World, which doesn't actually have any effect. It's literally just to pay a thousand, put it into play. That's all that matters. So we have those. This, which is essentially if you have three more cards, you draw a card. At the end phase, you discard your hand. We're not really going to the end phase most of the time. Uh, and then we have some other ways to pay life here. This card is fairly powerful. So you can send up to three cards from your hand to the graveyard and you draw that many cards. So, excuse me. And then, uh, special summon, that ability doesn't matter. And then it says, you lose a thousand life points for each card in your hand. So let's say you have five cards, you activate this, you now have four, you discard three, draw three, you lose 4,000. So more ways to just keep paying life. So, 
We're paying life, we're paying life, we're paying life, we're, we're, we're eventually getting to this, we're flipping our life total. How do we actually kill our opponent? Because we can't go to zero, because if we go to zero, we lose. So this is where Fuma Shuriken comes in. Fuma Shuriken is a spell card. It says, uh, its first ability doesn't matter. It says, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, inflict 700 damage to your opponent. Well, remember, with Reversal Quiz, and when we win, the, when we call it right, it sends, well, we send all of our cards from our field to the graveyard either way. So if you can set into play you basically you set by just putting a card face down in the spell and trap zone you can set one or two of these and then if you've gone low enough with reversal quiz when you win the flip your opponent goes to ideally 1400 or less and then you put two of these into the graveyard and dome your opponent for the last 1400 so that's kind of cool as well this is uh doesn't have a lot of text it literally just says pay half your life points the rest of the text doesn't matter it's just Pay half your life points. That's all that matters. Uh, this is ba banish 10 cards in the top of your deck, draw two cards. So just another way to keep churning through. There are situations where you do mill, or excuse me, banish all three copies of Reversal Quiz, which kind of sucks, but you know, you live and you die by the pot of desires. This is, uh, for those of you who are familiar with magic, this is essentially ponder. You look at the top three, add one to your hand, shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only activate one per turn. That's why we're only playing one. So that's why we only have one copy. Uh, this is each player draws a card, discards a card, more cantrips. This this searches for a, well, you send the top card of your deck to the graveyard and then you search for an equip spell, which searches for Fuma Shuriken if you're missing those. So that is, well, I guess there's also one copy of Terraforming, which adds a field spell from your deck to your hand. You can go get Chicken Game, which is kind of cool. And then this one, which is essentially, uh, there's not the, f the first five lines of text don't matter. It's just, if it's in your graveyard, you can banish from your graveyard to draw a card. That's it. And it cycles. So that is the deck list. And we played this live on the Twitch stream last night, and we had some interesting, well, you know, we killed a lot of people on turn one. So I wanted to showcase that to you guys. Again, make sure to let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. Enjoy the games, and we'll see you back here in just a little bit. It's next week when it goes off, but it's it's got a pretty high fail rate. I don't know how to how to make the fail rate work better, though, you know? I'm going to play MTG in Yu-Gi-Oh. What do you mean? Also, what's up, Adriel? How you doing, buddy? Okay. Oh, also, I didn't mention we're playing the tunes just to thin our deck. We're playing this, the, the three tune tables in the tune world, literally just to thin our deck. It is kind of cool that you can end on the tune world, which is a free thousand. So it's basically by playing a tune, by playing the tune package, it's not only makes your deck three cards smaller, but it, it's also a free thousand life points. Or free minus a thousand, I should say. Just play Musketeer, yeah. You always want to activate the tunes before you start drawing cards, because the way that the Yu-Gi-Oh cards work is if you don't have the card to search for, you can't activate it, so. All right, let's do... Oh, we have a quiz in our hand, so we're fine. Oh, but I banished two more shurikens. So now at this point, I have to get down to 700 or less. So how do I do that? I can fire this off and pay 5,000. Probably start with that. And this is 6,000. So I need to deal myself another 1,300 somehow. Oh, it's actually impossible, right? Because I have an even, I have an even life total. <laughs> We're playing Combo Shadow. It's not quite Death Shadow. Yeah, I actually... I actually can't kill them. Right? Because I'm at an even life total. So, the what I can do is I can pay a bunch of life. But the problem with that is I can't get to below a thousand. Because all of my cards deal myself damage in increments of a thousand. And I can only deal them 700 with this. So I actually think I just have to pass and hope that they deal me some damage in not an increment of a thousand. <laughs> <clears throat> Musk. I don't think I've heard of musketeers. Set one pass? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, hold on. Can that. I don't know. Can that. Um. 
Hold on, let me let me look at this card. I hope I exiled one. Can this? No, no, this can only get from the from Decker Graveyard. Fuck. Uh, shit. This is awkward. I guess. Oh no! Here's what I can do. I need to get all the way down to a thousand, and then I can pay half my life, right? That's what I need to do. I need to get all the way down to a thousand, and then I can pay half my life. So get rid of this. Uh, get rid of this. Get rid of. Toon World? So that's going to put me to a thousand. Oh yeah, now I can just pay half my life. Okay, cool, we did it. We did it. We did it! <laughs> Whoop! Come on, they don't have- they don't have- okay, good. Spell cards. Shoot a Swap life totals! Trigger! Oh, they didn't give me the sweet animation. Ooh, we need to be in the play. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, this hand doesn't do anything. Go. <laughs> <laughs> the old turn one your move <clears throat> just uh, take a look at my hand and you can go pot of E what is this dragon maids this isn't Exodia. It's not. This is the other combo deck. I saw some. I saw a YouTube video where somebody played Destiny boards. I was gonna try it, but there's too many ultra rares. Destiny board's pretty sweet. There was no. They they won the game with Destiny board, and there was no animation though, which I find insane. Like, how are you gonna have Destiny board as an alt win condition and just have no animation with the Destiny board? You know, like, come on, man. Seriously, like I'm gonna work so hard to assemble Destiny board, and you're not even gonna give me a sweet animation. Like, come on, Konami. <clears throat> There's some of the Sky Striker spells just for Engage. What's Engage do? Is Engage just like Pot of Greed? I don't actually know what most of the Scratch Record cards do. <laughs> I know that a lot of them don't do much, but... <laughs> Every time I play against Sky Strikers, it feels so underwhelming. Hieratic Seal. This is, uh... It doesn't actually do anything against me, so... We need to find a way to draw cards. Card draw spell. Pot of D. Fuma Shuriken, huh? Uh, I'm at 7k. I could go... 35, 25... Not quite there. Are we just passing again? Add a Sky Striker card to your hand, except itself if you have no monsters in your main zone. If you have three more spells, draw a card. Oh, so it just cycles. So, like, instead of the tune package, maybe just play some Sky Striker cards to go with that. Maybe. That's not the worst idea. Just as a cycler. I feel like there's other cyclers we could play, though. I do, I do kind of agree that Dark World Dealings is pretty bad. Yeah, one day apiece we could play. That card's limited to one, but we could play one day apiece. <clears throat> Can't play it from the... Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I see what you're saying. 
Does it turn off Shuriken? Uh, how would it? I don't think so. One day piece, those players don't take damage. Oh, rare. Right, right. Okay, yeah, we can't play one day piece. Never mind. Shio. What does Shio do? Are you serious? Green opponent activates a card or effect. You need the activation to destroy that card. Oh, so it's just a free negate? This card's stupid. Hmm. So they can just negate my they can just negate my quiz if they know what's up, right? Maybe we'll bait out a negate somehow. I don't know how we're gonna bait out a negate here, but obviously we're dead on board, so I might as well go for it. Can I bait a negate if I play this? Play this. Discard, discard. Oh, I can't cast this yet, because I have too many cards in hand. So what if I go... How do I bait the negate? Whatever, I'll just cast this. I'll go through the tune stuff. <clears throat> Wait, he just fired it off? It's only once per turn, right? Uh, okay. Well, they just fired it off. Uh, okay. Yeah, maybe. Wait, they can summon another one. That doesn't do anything, right? Okay, so I need to get the 700 or less. So I think I'm going to go set quiz. Wait, hold on. How does this work? Set these two. Play this. Discard, discard. Draw two. Take 3k. Go to 1300. Activate this. Pay half my life. Go to 650. Yeah, that works, right? Set. Set. Activate this. Discard these two. Keep the other pay half my life in hand. Take 3k, go to 13, cast this. Right? Should work. <clears throat> we'll save another negate. But... The jig is up now with <laughs> we've discarded two pseudo spaces. I think the I think they know what we're playing. Oh no. No. <laughs> Please don't target the reversal quiz. I guess either one's kind of bad. Wait. Oh, they just didn't know how it worked. All right, cool. <laughs> they just didn't know how it worked. <laughs> Gas. Okay, and they could have targeted. Oh wait, is this only face up? No, it's not. And it's not only face up. Okay. <laughs> they could have just picked one of these two and probably won the game. <laughs> you know. Yeah, they're drunk. I mean, I, they thought that it would negate. Maybe they're, oh, you know what? Maybe they're a boomer. Because don't boomers think that, that MST counters a spell that's being cast? Boomers think that, right? What's your stance on that chat? Should MST counter a spell? <clears throat> Dead. Got him. We, they had an Omni to gate. Well, not an Omni. Well, it was an Omni. It was a one-turn Omni to gate. And that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was a lot of fun. I had a blast playing it. If you're into combo decks, this is definitely one of the decks you want to take a look at. And uh, again, 
this is the most important part of the video. Please let me know in the comments uh, if there's any, if you got any Master Duel decks that you've maybe seen other people play that you would like me to take a look at. I got a whole bunch of different decks that we, we have access to, some memes, some non-memes. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, let me know what you thought. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.